Hello viewers, in this lecture, I'm going to explain how we can design a MATLAB code for a numerical scheme that has been proposed in this research paper titled On the Nonlinear Dynamical Systems Within the Generalized Fractional Derivatives with Middle Leffler Kernel. The paper was published in 2018 in a research journal, Nonlinear Dynamics. The authors are Professor Dimitri Baliano, Professor Amin Dijarmi, and Professor Mushtaba Hajipur. In this research paper, the basic purpose of the authors was to develop two numerical methods to solve ordinary differential equations which are defined with the Atangana Baliano Caputo operator. In short, I will be calling it ABC differential operator. They have proposed two numerical methods and have analyzed their stability and error estimates. Later, they have verified the theoretical results with the help of five illustrative examples. Let me show you a couple of basic definitions. For example, in equation one, you see the definition of a Tangana Baliano fractional derivative of a function y of t in the Riemann level sense. So you can see that equation one is the definition for the said operator where the integrand contains E sub alpha, which is a mythic Leffler function with one parameter. And the mythic Leffler function is defined by equation two. It is an infinite series. Likewise, we have definition three, which is the definition of a Tangana Baliano fractional derivative of a function in the Caputo sense. So you saw there is a difference between these two definitions, definition one and three. In definition one, the derivative operator, the first order derivative is outside of the integral sign, whereas in definition three, the derivative the first order derivative is inside the integral. So this is the difference between Atankana Baliano fractional derivative of a function in the Riemann level and in the Caputo sense. Let me show you the numerical scheme. So the numerical scheme is known as fractional Euler method and is given by equation 33. In equation 33, you can see a term P sub i plus 1 with fractional order alpha. This term is defined by equation 40, equation 34. So I have designed a MATLAB code for this numerical scheme. Once again, this numerical scheme helps us to simulate an ordinary differential equation along with an initial condition. You can call it an initial value problem which is given under Atangana Baliano Caputo operator. So let's go to MATLAB code and now you can see starting from line number 9 t of 1 is 0 y of 1 is 0 this is these are the initial conditions. Line number 11 couple of inputs required alpha that I have arbitrarily chosen to be 3 by 4, ABC, this is normalization factor taken to be 1 in the research paper, step size H 0.1, the final mesh point I have chosen 1, and the integration interval is given by T. On line number 13, we have number of iterations. 15 is a given differential equation. Line number 16 is the exact solution 
of this differential equation. Let me tell you that this exact solution I have found using Laplace transform technique and I have explained it in one of my previous lectures. Let me show you the for loop, which is the essence of the numerical scheme being discussed. So you can see that this is the for loop which is required to simulate or to design the code for the said numerical scheme. So you can compare the right hand side of this equation with the numerical method called fractional Euler method given in the research paper by equation 33. Okay, so now line number 28 I have computed absolute errors and then I have collected some errors such as maximum error, last error, average error and norm. And I have collected all of these four errors in a matrix form so that I can easily see all the four errors at one place. So let me run this code with the step size 0 0.1. Okay, so now I will have to go to the command window and you can see that this is the maximum error. 9.5118 10 to the power minus 2 is a last error. Similarly, this number is the average of all the errors and this is norm. Now I'm going to reduce the step size to 0 0.01 and now I comment line number 7 so that I can see the results along with the results that I have just seen on the command window. Run the M file and go to command window you can see that this is the difference between the errors. So you saw that with the decrease of one order of magnitude in the step size, we have almost one order of magnitude decrease in the errors as well. So let's decrease the step size further by one more order of magnitude and then run the script file again. And you can see we have one order of magnitude decreased in the errors. Once again, Let's decrease it further. Go to M, go to the command window, run the file again. And now it is going to take some time because we have taken a very small step size and we have got our result. Once again, one order of magnitude decrease in the errors and it has taken about five seconds. So this is the code that would help you to simulate an ordinary differential equation defined with ABC operator. And the numerical method is called the fractional Euler method. So you saw the behavior of one order of decrease. The same behavior we have actually observed in the classical Euler method in the classical calculus, which is the first order method. So by this behavior here, it suggests that the behavior suggests that the fractional Euler's method under ABC operator is also a first order accurate matter. So this was the numerical scheme that I wanted to discuss with you. I would request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.